Oke dah.
Compound bones are designed to reduce the force uh, required to hold the string at the full draw. Hence, hence allowing the archer more time to aim with less muscular, muscular stress. So I will pass to the Daniel. As you can see the structure of the bow. We have two types of bow. And you can see on your Google, I do it in the phone because it's a place to blur. And then, I will say about the type of arrow. The most common form of arrow consists of a shaft with an arrow head attached to the front end. Front end and with a fletching, fletching and a knot attached to the other head. Shaft or arrows are tip typically composed of solid bones, bamboo, fiberglass, aluminium, aluminium aloe, carbon fiber, or composite material. And this, and this is for the uh, example of the arrow. Then, next. I will say about history of the Olympic game. As, as, as you know, actually it became an official event in the modern Olympic game in 1900 and was also featured in 1904 and also 1908 and, and then 1920 then international rules uh, had not yet been de developed so, and each host country used its, its own rules and formats because of the rules because of the, because of the rules result, resulting coefficient and the sport was eliminated from the Olympic program until 1970. Okay. Um, for the last, I will say that the legendary archer in Olympic. The most decorated archer in Olympic history is Hubert Van Venis, the name of the legendary. And he uh, came of Belgium who competed in 19 and 1920. Win six gold and silver medals. Okay, uh, that's all for us. Thank you. <laughs> okay.